Bannon's departure comes as the president continues to take heat for his handling of Charlottesville. On Facebook, Mitt Romney wrote, Mr. Trump caused racists to rejoice, minorities to weep, and the vast heart of America to mourn. Romney said the president needs to admit he was wrong and apologize. A number of charities that had planned to hold fundraisers at Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club in Palm Beach have pulled out, including the Red Cross, the American Cancer Society, and the Salvation Army. We turn now to John Dickerson, our chief Washington correspondent and anchor of Face the Nation. John, what does it mean that Bannon is gone? Well, it means that the person who was closest to the ideological heart of the Trump movement is now out of the White House. And what did that mean? That meant on issues like immigration, trade, taxes, where Bannon's view was different than the orthodox Republican view, that's now no longer got a champion in the White House. And the same on foreign policy. He was against the kind of adventurism that we've seen in previous Republican politics. He also was the one who encouraged the president's counterpunching instincts. He was a risk taker during the campaigns. And what it means now that he's out is He's a bit of a norm breaker. He likes to break rules. Now that he's out, he may very well become a fierce opponent of the White House from the outside. An opponent of the president, do you think? An opponent of the president on behalf of the people who he believes took the president to the White House, those who don't believe in unfettered free trade, those who want to close down the borders, who don't believe in comprehensive immigration reform. Speaking on their behalf and challenging the president to live up to his promises, was, which was part of what he thought he was doing within the White House. So how does this affect the president's agenda, if at all? Well, the president said he was going to run the White House like a business, and so this business has had a lot of turnover. It's almost like he's had a hostile takeover of his own staff. So that's difficult with the president because you're already kind of behind when you get into the White House. You've got a full plate, and you're not working with your staff yet. Now he's got to develop a whole new staff. That's hard to do while you're also trying to launch an agenda. All right, John Dickerson, thanks. Thanks, Anthony. Sunday on Face the Nation, John will talk to Democratic Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia and Republican Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina.